Coming up on this week's episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. Because he's kicking ass with his comic arc, man. So I'm, oh my god, he's such a badass! Let's go! Holy shit! Oh my god, there's like, there were like nine or ten of them! What's going on, everyone? It is Jack. I can't believe we're at the mid-season finale already. This is insane. Angela Kang has done an incredible job with this season. I know a lot of people were skeptical with Rick leaving and everything, but she's done amazing. I had faith, as did many other fans, but... There were definitely some skeptical fans out there, and I'm really glad that things have started to work out for the better, because this is my favorite show. That's no that's no surprise. And if it is, this must be your first time here. How you doing? Um, but, that being said, I'm, I'm avoiding talking about the upcoming episode, because I know that there's a lot of shit that's about to go down. And I don't know if I'm ready for it. Now, I don't think we're getting to the fair, or the border, or anything like that this episode. If we do, I'm going to need more Jack. <laughs> but, I'm banking on it not being that yet. I'm banking on some, some earlier interactions. Now, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose somebody this episode. Because I'm pretty sure we've lost somebody in the mid-season finale or premiere pretty much every episode. Or every time... They've had an episode for the mid-season break. Gotcha, bitch. Um, but so, ah, I don't know if he's here still. I'm hoping he's not. I don't see him on my hands, though. We'll meet again. Sorry. But yeah, I'm not ready for this, man. Finals week coming up. I don't need this stress in my life right now. We're going to be checking out The Walking Dead Season 9. Mid-season finale. Episode 8. Evolution. Without further ado, let's check this episode out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, 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 boy. All right, let's try and pick them out. Let's see who's who. 40 of them. Daryl can count? One. You're damn right it's not. No. No, it ain't. There's a storm coming. Dog. Metaphorically and physically, there's a storm. I don't, I don't really like... Jesus, that's a pretty flimsy armor, man. It looks like tinfoil. I don't really know if I like the idea of Dog being out. I had a bad feeling that we're gonna lose Dog. Oh, we're gonna get our first glance at Alpha? Or Lydia? Or Beta? That was somebody, I know it. Hot damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not okay with that shit. Get that shit out of here. You know, just the other day, Rosita was out there chatting up the storm. She likes you, Gene. Now, who said she was talking about you? Ooh, Negan stirring up some high school drama. See, now that Negan mentioned that he accepts that he's not getting out, I feel like he's gonna get out in this episode. What? What are you panicking about? Why are they so afraid of them? What the fuck happened? It's <laughs> a, a pretty good setup we got going on here. Why do they have such animosity towards one another? Diane, you know Michonne. Are you ready? She's making Michonne take our katana off? What? 
Okay, some big shit definitely went down. Magna's not having any of this shit. Took the old gangs back together. Woo! Which way were they headed? Okay. What happened? Oh my god. Are Enid and Alden a thing? Okay, Michonne. We don't know what happened yet, but... <gasps> Carol, go say hi. We don't know what happened yet, but we need to know what happened. Because obviously some colossal shit went down. They made Michonne and them leave their shit outside the gate. And Daryl was allowed in with his crossbow? Come on. Jesus. I didn't expect to see you here. Same. Same, fam. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Carol, no sign! Sorry, that's all I knew. Let's figure out where they're putting us up. Props, Carol! I know what you went through. And I get why this is hard for you. We don't. Can you clue us in? For each other. We've always been a family. And you still are. Doesn't feel that way. The kingdom is kingdom. We've got to take care of our own now. It's just the way it is. What? It's a shame. It is. When did it turn to that? It was good to see you. You better hug it out. Be Henry, my best. Hug it out. Michonne. Alright, we need to be clued in on what went down. Because... I'm not okay with them hating each other as much as it seems like they Darryl do. Says he's been trading with hook up again. Is that a... No way. Last time we saw someone do that, I think it was Enid back in Season 5, Episode 15? Yeah. When she was with Carl in the woods. Carol. I guess she taught him her tricks. Mind if I hit your eye? <laughs> hey, Henry, you remember when you almost shot Alden in the face last season? We'll be back for the fair. Keeps reiterating that, man. Oh, oh, you're making her proud already, dude. Already have. Oh, Carol, hold it together. Because we need to hold it together, too. Oh, he's definitely trying not to cry. <laughs> so he's first off in college, man. Bye, Mom. Riding through this world all alone. God takes your soul, you're on your own. Nice transition. I thought one of them was gonna pick it up. Damn, he's doing a good job already. Oh, I was gonna see if Enid wanted to. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Yes, or something. Oh, Henry, you just got shafted, bro. For once in your life, shut your damn mouth. Oh, it's a little you. testy. Because somebody has to stay behind to be responsible for you. Reminds me of that scene with Sam in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Talking about the maester shits. Bars? Okay. Why do I think he's a former savior? And he's... ah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Hey, Huckleberry. Oh uh, no. It's the cool kids at the Hilltop. They call him Huckleberry. Hey, Gage. Ah, uh, Gage? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember. You were here during the war, the kid with the stick. I'm getting vibes of Alicia with her uh, Bible study group. Have you ever been to Oceanside? They're really all women? <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. I should become a fisherman. <laughs> Hey, you should hang out with us tonight. Well, in the what? Don't they shut the gates down at sundown? You're telling me you've never snuck out of kingdom? Oh, Dude, God. No. Whatever's got no. Down, no. Henry, right, no. No. There's like ten kids yeah, alive yeah, between these seven it. communities, and you're going to get involved with like the worst of the bunch? Come on, Henry. You know better. They're going to go out there. They're going to get shit-faced. They're going to do something stupid. It should be Carl doing that, by the way. What happened? But I won't. I have no idea what they're doing. Well, shit. 
Oh my god. This looks like something out of Scooby-Doo or Supernatural or something. It's gonna be like our worst nightmare. I'm just reminding you guys that if you kill Dog, we're gonna have some problems. You're just buried under the hay? He really likes to bury himself, huh? Buried himself in these the ashes last season? Are you in there? Affirmative. Oh, he's so, he sounds so scared, man. Dude, he looks petrified. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. We could hear them in Whispering. Bruh, I wanna be like truly scared, but I'm so excited. Even when he's scared, he's saying big words and stuff. Ah, oh, shit. Get a muzzle on him. Oh, no. Okay, um, they are not walking like normal walkers. They were, like, crouch walking like some weird gorilla thing. Holy shit, dude. Are they just getting high? Or are they getting drunk? It's one of the two. I don't think Henry's ever drank before. This is your idea of fun. I hate to see what happens when you get bored. I'll show you that right now. But. Dude, don't tell me they're gonna have an orgy or something. Or are they gonna have like a walker head or something? Like the Bible study group. Yeah, that's that's about what it is. Okay. Step right up and try your luck. Were you even old enough to go to a carnival before the world went to shit? Well shit, now he's stuck down there for the night. Oh, don't tell me the herd is gonna come over to him. Oh shit. Bro, you gotta pop that knee back in now. You shouldn't have followed us all the way to the barn. Who wants to stay? It's gonna be me. I don't argue with Daryl staying. He did let Rick go off on his own, and then look what happened. All right, what's going down here? Is he just gonna get out? Gabe just... Oh, there's gonna be like a gust of wind that just like blows it open an inch or something. I'm like, and she'll be like. He'd be like, oh, it's unlocked. Or he's gonna throw the... Oh my god. If he goes to lean up to it to, like, reach and just falls forward, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. This is gonna be great. Yeah, the wind's blowing it. It was unlocked. He's like, no shit. Freedom! But do you really want to take it, though, man? You really want to go and try and live it on your own? You get fed here. Someone cleans up your shit. You get visitors. Ah, oh, shit. Great going, Gabe. The guards found you outside the gate shouting to be let back in. Want to tell me how you wound up out there? No, sir, I do not. You ain't a snitch? Uh, who gave you the booze? I don't what know. Do My parents are, are counting on me. So you get shit faced day one? What the hell got into you? Love. I saw my mom cry today. She's so tough, you know. He's a bad bitch. Before that, I was just... I guess I didn't want to think about that for a while. <laughs> Same, Henry. Well, I've been there. Literally right there on that cop. <laughs> yeah. Tried to kill Maggie a couple of years ago. Alright, what's going down now? Dare Roy. Let's go. Daryl, if you leave Dog down there... Oh my god, is he just gonna try and scare him with firecrackers? Those are black hats. You're 
tricks aren't working, Daryl. This isn't a normal herd. Oh my god. You're in a foggy graveyard? Could you make this any more terrifying? Don't pull a Randall and get caught on the fence, please. Good idea. Stop looking back, just go. Or you just trapped yourselves. Come on, Jesus, use your kung fu. Kick that bitch open. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. You wonder how many... Oh, that's a big boy. Oh, shit. Stay close. There you go. There you go. Stay to the wall. Stay to the wall. Don't go. Don't go out so much. You guys gotta be careful. God damn, Jesus is a badass. I'm so happy that they're giving him more of his comic story. Ugh. How much you want to bet the Whisper stayed outside the walls and just let the walkers flow in? They're hearing him too. Oh shit, Magma. Oh shit! Alright. Put that shovel to use. Let's go. No! I swear to god. Nice. Okay, I don't know if I like that it's slow mo. I don't know whether to think it's badass or be nervous. Because he's kicking ass with his comic arc, man. So I'm oh my god, he's such a badass! Let's go! Come on! Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god, there's like, there were like nine or ten of them! Get Jesus out of there, let's go! He's not dead, is he? No. They did not just kill Jesus. No. No. No! They did not just kill Jesus! What?! He's gonna come back in three episodes, right? They're not walkers. Those are stitches. It's a mask. Oh my god. If y'all end it here, I swear to God. Seriously? What happened? Maybe that would happen anyway. But now we know. There's a new enemy. More like us than them. Lydia? This fair could be our last chance. But what does it mean for Alexandria to survive if the kingdom falls? It means Alexandria <gasps> survives. Holy fuck, Daryl versus Beta! 
Oh my god. Negan at the sanctuary? Hi. Okay. So, I'm a little salty because I'm in the process of editing right now. And I I kind of break it up and I don't I don't do it start to finish. I kind of break it up in chunks and stuff. So usually I get the um the the intro outro stuff kind of figured out and then I consolidate so just I'm not going to explain the whole thing, but I got to the promo reaction and my afterthoughts, which ended up being like 25 minutes of talking. And I realized that when I hammer fisted my desk at the cliffhanger, fucked up my audio. So pretty much the entire discussion afterwards that i had for like 25 minutes where i gave my thoughts on all of this it didn't record so and it's been a while since then so unfortunately i'm uh i don't really got the time to to do all that again i got a very busy week ahead of me so i'll just try and do something a little quick right now Overall, I really love the episode. There were only a few things that have kind of bugged me a little bit this season, and that is the fact that they're being vague about what happened in the six-year time jump, and Michonne is being erratic and just hostile with the other groups, or she did something to cause them to be that way. But it's kind of reminding me of how I was getting very angry with Alicia and Fear last season, because we didn't know for a fact what happened we just were seeing the after effects of it and how she was acting towards our characters which i didn't like regardless of what truly caused it which we found out later i still don't feel it was entirely justified but that's besides the point the fact is they should have kind of keyed us in a bit more over time than they were they it seemed like they just left it all up in the air and then just gave it to us all at once after making us wait a really long time and i'm really hoping they don't do that i hope we get the flashback episode by like episode 11 or 12 or it's gonna feel like it's way too long unless we get solid confirmation of yeah remember when insert the explanation of what happened and why everyone's acting so hostile towards each other unless we get like a dead set explanation on that soon it's gonna really start to bug me so that was one of my only gripes as well as the fact that uh we lost jesus from what i understand tom Payne kind of wanted out of the show because they felt like they really were not using his character and i can't blame him for that they did jack shit with jesus in season seven and eight and that's that's partially gimple's fault but uh I'm really pissed, though, because I talked about so much stuff in this, and I was, like, really trying to, like, go back and, like, be honest about everything and explain everything that I was thinking and how I was super excited about the whispers and all that stuff, but no. I just had to get a little, I got a little mad. I am, I don't know how I would have been with the season six cliffhanger if I was doing reactions, then ho <laughs> ho, I might have broke something. I was still pissed when it happened, but... So just a, a heads up, if my audio seemed a little off during the promo, well, one, I was kind of speechless during the promo, so I didn't really say much. But the few things I did say, if they seem a little off, it's because the audio is all jagged and crap, and I'm going to have to, like, sync it up again, but I'll do my best. So if there's some parts where it looks like I, said, I say something and you don't hear it, 
don't worry. It just, it got lost in the fuckery. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm still really bummed that my thing didn't go through. Because literally, there's... So I ended... It's like my, my recording was about... It was like 49 minutes. And then by the time I started talking about the episode... So it was, it was at like the 50 minute mark. I talked for another 15 minutes after that or something crazy. Okay, I thought it was 25. It's not. It's 15. But still, that's a lot. I usually don't talk that much after an episode. But I literally... I just was... I was going so in-depth and I was like... Like, I'll put, hold up, I'll put it up for a sec, because you're not going to be able to hear anything anyway, but, hold on. So, one second, there we go. So, like, I was really shocked, and then I was talking about it, and talking about it. Well, actually, okay, I was trying to get a fly for about three or four of those minutes, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, I literally, I was just talking, I was just being super in-depth about it, and I was, I was still really salty about them killing Jesus, and, yeah. So, that's it's weird seeing me on there. All right, well, um, make sure to like, comment, uh, let me know what you thought about the episode in this first half of the season so far. I think Angela Kang is doing a great job, absolutely phenomenal job. And yeah, subscribe if you want all that fun stuff. We're getting close to a thousand subs. That'd be epic to reach that by the end of 2018. It's ambitious. I think it could happen though but also congrats to nikki and steven they just hit 40k subs that's insane i see i see them hitting 50k definitely before the end of the year and i'd say before my next semester's up they'll be at 100k for sure they're doing great and if you guys haven't seen them go check them out they react to like game of thrones walking dead fear punisher stranger things black mirror a lot of other cool stuff so and I think they're starting Breaking Bad soon, too. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But, yeah, regardless, hope you enjoyed my reaction. And as always, this has been Jack from Group of Gamers Inc. 194, and I'm out. Peace. Bye. Holy Gregory? Shit, oh, no, the Carol. Oh, she's burning all of them. Oh, no. Whoa. Like, there is something in this bitch. I'm just gonna show, baby! Oh! Show, baby! Oh, you're a big boy! You're not being weird. Who's gonna confess his love for you, Rosita? I know it's a bad time, but you still. You can't tease us oh, with the so whispers like that. Come there. on! Did you hear that? Oh, my God. There was, uh... Dude. Where are they? And then, holy, holy away. Some scary shit, man. Some scary shit. shit.